Alrighty. I'm going to start by drawing a blue sky in here. And then, let's make it a little bit darker at the top. Let's add in some mountains with a blue-green color. There we go. I guess it's not really blue-green, it's just like a dark blue, but that's, that works too. I'm going to sketch in some fun mountains here. Might as well just fill in the bottom. And then I'm going to erase some of those areas. to carve out my mountains a little bit. Cool. All right, let's add maybe another layer of mountains in here. Like that. Cool. Okay. I think I'm going to want to add some clouds in the background. I'm going to grab a soft layer paintbrush and just sketch in some really nice light fluffy clouds coming out from behind these mountains. Maybe I'll erase some of the kind of back sides of them, give them a little bit more dimension. I'm use the smudge tool here to add a little bit more texture to. Cool, I'm liking it. So now let's add some atmospheric perspective with an airbrush. And then maybe some more up here too. All right, I'm gonna go in with a texture brush for my brush pack. Pick like I'm going to create a clipping mask, like so, and then I'm going to start adding some fun textures to our mountain by just roughly scratching in some shapes. detail with my texture brush. Let's find it here. Looks a little bit more rocky and rough. Then I'm going to add a little bit more shine kind of on the top. So I'm going to swipe with two fingers on that clipping mask layer. Find maybe like a vibrant orangey color. The sunlight is hitting these peaks a little bit, like that. And you can always go back in with that blue if you overdid it. So I'm liking how that's looking. I'm going to go ahead and add some shadows to the back side to kind of give a better idea of the shapes of these mountains. go and then go in with that texture brush add a little bit of texture and you can even go in with a smudge if you want it a little bit smoother all right we got some good looking textures I think I'm gonna work on the foreground by grabbing a tree brush set here and then putting in some trees maybe some that same color a little bit darker like that so now we have a nice little line of trees going and I'm gonna make a new layer add some more trees these like darker shapes 
and then I'm gonna airbrush. Some more colors in the bottom here. And then repeat with those same trees, maybe make them a little bit more on the greener side. So they're a little bit more realistic when we get closer. Cool. I also kind of like frame this valley a little bit. I think I'm going to make it a little bit more sunset y time, so I'm going to go back to our original sky layer, add maybe some yellows to the sky just a little bit. Maybe not that much, maybe even some pinks or oranges to the bottom. And then I'm gonna put in a little subtle mountain layer way behind these. to kind of blend some of it in, blend the bottom away. And there you have a super duper simple mountain landscape in Procreate. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this tutorial was easy to follow along with for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.